four, my surgery, day four post-op, and I am getting ready for my third massage, and I'm also getting taped today because I'm going home in the morning. So I'm gonna get taped and get my stomach bonded, but my drains are not gonna be covered, so. I'm gonna get that done. I'm gonna try and do some vlogging for you guys so you can see exactly what I'm having done. But the massage therapist is not coming here for the massage and tape, so I have to go to the office. So the recovery house driver is going to take me there. I will be leaving here in a few minutes. So I just put a little bit of concealer on and some lip gloss, some MAC lip gloss. And I'm gonna get ready and go to my massage and my tape appointment. Um, so for breakfast today, I had some oatmeal, some strawberries and grapes, and I had some orange juice and coffee. And for lunch, I had a uh, chicken, grilled chicken wrap with some ranch dressing, some lettuce, and some onions. So I just wanted to let you guys know what I ate today, what I've been eating. I was able to get a bowel movement, actually two. I think the coffee really helped. So ladies, if you have your BBL or your surgeries and you are backed up from all of the pain meds and the anesthesia, try and drink some coffee because I think that's what helped me have my first bowel movement today. So I feel a lot less bloated. I do notice some swelling went down today, but last night was very painful for me to sleep. My back was killing me. I don't know if it was because of like the surgery from the lipo from the back. Was it from laying on my stomach or what? But my bottom lower back was killing me last night. So I've been pretty much standing up all day in the bathroom, leaning over the counter, getting my YouTube videos posted and editing some vlogs and stuff for you guys. So hope you're enjoying the vlogs. But yeah, I'm getting ready to head to my massage and tape. I just threw on this little dress I borrowed from my mom. I think it's pretty hot here in Florida today, so. Um, just gonna wear this to the appointment. So I just got back from getting my last massage. I had to go in person because the lady that does the tape method is in the office. So I got the tape method with the massage package that I purchased. I'm a little bit out of breath because I just put this Faja on. Um, I had my tan Faja on earlier, but I had a little bit of drainage and a little bit of blood on it when I got my massage because I did get some more drainage when I got my massage and massage by Ari. So when I got back to the recovery house, I changed into my backup Faja. So, a little bit out of breath from putting this Faja on. Ladies, if you put Fajas on before and you know that you get out of breath trying to get into your Faja sometimes because it's a lot of work trying to get everything fitted into the Faja. I am going to do a separate video on a review of my massage by Massage Ari and the tape method. I'm also going to show you guys how my stomach look um, with the tape on it and how it's binding. I feel like that should be like a totally separate video because it's a lot involved with that. So look out for that video. It's my last night here at the recovery house. I'll also be doing a review slash um, little overview of my stay at this recovery house, VIP Big and Lodge in Miami, in case you guys need places to stay while you're here getting your surgeries. So make sure you are subscribed to my channel and stay tuned for those videos as well. So as you can see, it's day three post-op and I still had a lot of blood 
This is from when I left the massage parlor. I put this pad in there because it got opened and my drain drained out a lot of blood. So on the way home, I had this pad in. I saved this pad so I can show you guys how much blood and how much fluid you still have three days post-op. Now the massage therapist told me that I do not have to open my drains up anymore. Um, around post-op post day three, you do get a lot of fluid out manually. However, she told me the best way moving forward to make sure I get all of the fluid out is to drink two gallons of water a day. That is a lot of water. But I'm gonna try and do the best I can. But if you want all this fluid out and you don't wanna be swollen, definitely want to make sure you drink a lot of water. So yeah, I'm just gonna be packing up this evening and getting ready to go. I'm gonna try and get this vlog posted for you guys. And you can see my butt is expanding a little bit back there. And this back here, as you can see up top, this is some tape there from the taping that they do. But yeah, you can kind of see me from the back and see my butt still pretty swollen and pretty hard but it'll soften up eventually. That'll be a different vlog, a different day, a different video. But yeah, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I got a lot of videos coming your way. Got all my stuff over here. I need to get organized. I have a very early flight in the morning. My flight leaves at 6.55. I want to get this vlog wrapped up and edit it because I'm going to do a separate vlog tomorrow on my journey, flying home by myself and everything that will transpire with me commuting back home all the way to Ohio. And I have a layover in Atlanta, so this should be pretty interesting. I am moving around pretty well. I'm feeling pretty good after my massage. More fluid got out, so I'm feeling more and more mobile each day. So I'm not really worried about the commute home, just worried about not being able to sit down and having to sit down on my BBL pillow. So we're gonna see how that works out tomorrow in tomorrow's video slash vlog. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how I look in this black Faja. Um, I have no boards on right now. I have no phones. So you're gonna get exactly how I look. The massage therapist told me I look great for three days post-op because I don't have a lot of swelling and my stomach is like almost flat. So I'm gonna show you guys three days post-op in this Faja. So as you can see, my laterals are coming in that I asked for. I'm still a little swollen, obviously, but I did ask for some laterals to get put in because I was pretty much straight up and down. Hips are usually like down here. My doctor said he couldn't put hips in, but he did put me some fat in here for some laterals, as you can see. So those are coming in nicely. And I'm gonna show you guys a side view, my butt and my faja. So my shape is coming in nicely. I do think my back was lipoed aggressively because I mean, my back has been killing me, so. Yeah, you can kind of see my shape there. As you can see, my stomach isn't too, too swollen. It's pretty flat for three days post-op. Um, and I still do have fluid in me, so I'm gonna try and drink, drink, drink to get all of that fluid out. So yeah, I hope you're enjoying this vlog. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram. So I'm taking me a little bathroom break. Um, the flight isn't as bad as I thought it was. Um, I feel
fell asleep on my BBL pillow because it was pretty comfortable. Um, I'm not putting any pressure on my butt. So I was leaned all the way back, set on my BBL pillow, put my eye mask on. I just had a snack and some water from the air airline. Um, they provide a snack and like something to drink, so I just had some water. And I'm super sleepy because I didn't sleep that well last night on my stomach. Um, so I'm just gonna stand up in the bathroom for a little bit and I'm gonna go back and sit back down on my BBL pillow. Um, I do have a layover, so I'll be in Atlanta probably in another 40 minutes and then I'll have an hour in between and then I'll have another hour and a half flight. So I'm kind of glad the flight is broken up. So yeah, everything's going pretty smooth right now. And I'm super sleepy because I didn't sleep that well last night on my stomach. Um, so I'm just going to stand up in the bathroom for a little bit and I'm going to go back and sit back down on my BBL pillow. Um, I do have a layover, so I'll be in Atlanta probably in another 40 minutes and then I'll have an hour in between and then I'll have another hour and a half flight. So I'm kind of glad the flight is broken up. So yeah, everything's going pretty smooth right now.